Hello, what's up YouTube? This is a beautiful day, um, a beautiful summer, and a beautiful time to start a new YouTube channel. Um, I just want to start a channel called Coding and Science, and this will be my first episode. A bit of myself, um, I really like programming because I like the power of computer and use it to solve problems. And although I know the language of Python, HTML, CSS, and a bit of JavaScript and Java. First thing is first, I gotta say JavaScript and Java is different. That's I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, I am a kind of a bit, bit of math and tech nerd, and I'm a high school learner trying to start a YouTube channel. So please don't judge. And I really appreciate feedback in the comments. Thank you. Um, today, um, I be trying to solve, the, uh, not solve. But uh, to test out the Cots conjecture, it's in, it's in the, ah it's introduced by Lutheran College in 1936, um, and it's a very uh, phenomenal number series uh, theory uh, that I've been obsessed with it since sixth grade, like the time when my math teacher showed me some kind of math magic. It's kind of not magic though. I don't know, maybe. So basically, you start with any positive whole numbers. And if it's even, um, divide by 2, if it's odd, multiply by 3, and add 1. And if you keep repeating, you will get to 1. Um, I pulled some formal definition from Wikipedia. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. Um, yeah. By the way, Wikipedia is a reliable source, just saying that. God's conjecture always reaches 1. Here's on the right. There's a graph um, that shows the number, um, uh, the number and the number of times it takes to get to one. And uh, in this video, I will use the power of computers and Python to demonstrate this theory. So let's have a design uh, blueprint first. Um, so it says start with any number. So that's n. If it's even, divide by two. And if it's odd, multiply by 3, and divide by, ah, it's multiply by 3, and plus 1, that's a typo there. So, that's the equation, n over 2, and 3n plus 1, and then you repeat. Let's put that in Python. First, uh, we have a while loop, because we will be inputting multiple um, numbers. And then we have a statement. If it's even, do this. If it's odd, do that. And then repeat. And the repeating part is a while loop. Um, let's put that in Python. So since it first start with a positive integer, um, I'm just gonna let it be n. Um, the variable and then I'm gonna let the user to input it so int integer and then input prompt uh, a number it's probably a number and uh, we have that now let's have an if loop so if and uh, is she gonna Odd one makes n a little odd, so if n uh, divide by two, the remainder is equal to one. Uh, we multiply if it's odd, multiply by three and divide by no, nope, multiply three and add one. Duh. So uh, new number. Let's call a new variable we'll called new number. New num is equal to uh, three and plus one. Oh, I don't need that. And if and percent two is equal to zero, new num is equal to two n. Now, once we have that, uh want to print it out and see uh, and yeah just print it out print new num copy that uh, 
Um. Ooh. Ow. Ow, Sif. I think that's better. So, let's run it. Invalid format. You want? Ah. I'm forgetting a lot of stuff that I learned in class. My teacher's not going to be happy. Input number. Ah. Uh, let's go. Make it a three. Numbers not defined. Fine. I would define it on the top. So, new num is equal to zero. You're happy now, computer? So, three. New. What the? Oh, God. It's been a bad day. Number is three. Now, yes, I got a 10. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. But I want this to repeat, so. New num is being updated. Uh, so, while. So, let's declare this wearable first. New num is equal to 1. Throw it out there. While. Let's have a while loop. Oh, true. It's a dangerous move, but I will try it. Because it's easier. I don't know, lazy. Uh, while you're true, um, you can put enter a number. Let's not make that an infinite loop. So if new num is equal equal to one, so when it's equal to one, I want it to break. Bam. Uh, input number three, ten. Ah, oh, shoot. So yeah, that should be outside of the while loop. That should not be indented. It's all a part of the coding process, you know. You always do stuff, realize it's wrong, gotta do it again. Oh, shoot. Wait, oh. Stop, 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 stop. No. So if N. Hmm. Why is this doing this? Oh, because new number is not being updated. Wait, no. It's N that's not being updated. N is in the if loop that's been testing. Oh, if this is odd or even, right? But it's new number that we want to repeat because remember, if it's even, let's do this. If it's odd, do that and then you repeat. Yeah, there you go. So um, in here, after that's done, uh, let's do n is equal to new number. So let's update this wearable. And then if new number is equal to 1, break. Should fly, hopefully. Three. Holy ho ho. That sounds terrifying. But ah, uh, okay. So I figured out what happened. It is this that I messed up on. Oh, man, stupid mistake. So it should be n over two. Let's see. Ah. Uh, Yes! So it's 3 times 3 plus 1, 10, even, divided by 2, odd times 3, minus 1, yep, no, times 3 plus 1, over 2, over 2, over 2. Yes! That's confirmed for number 3. Now, if I want to do this for a listed number, maybe uh, 1 to 100 and see if it all follows the same rule now it's a different problem hmm. now let's see if you want to do numbers 1 to 100 yes you're gonna need a for loop okay I'm gonna do a for loop um so let's first do a for loop for I so let's just 
make it simple, 1 to 10. Uh, and um, the wearable is not I, it should be N. And uh, we have a for loop. Yes, okay, that's a for loop. Oh, uh, God. I think this might be the problem. Nope. So if n is if n is one, you keep doing that. Why? Why don't? Mm. That's quite interesting. Um, I'm gonna try one to ten because zero might yeah might break break this thing. So ah, there you go. It worked. So yeah, it's starting with one. And then, yep, it starts with 1, it goes up to 10. So, let's see. In here, uh, let's print what number we are on. So, for number, for number, uh, and then uh, I will have N in here. Yep, for number 2. So for number one, two, three, so this is what happens if you have eight, uh, you get four, two, one, you have nine, you have 24, 14, seven, and then blah, 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 blah. Sounds good. So it's working so far. Uh, let's see, nope, let's print. Let's also have a print line. Should I do a dash, 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 or just print? Line. Okay, I'm gonna do a dash dash dash. So, ah. So, I'm just gonna dash cross so we know it's a new number. Just making it clear. Uh, oh, it's already running very long. So, yeah. Move of that, we wanna see the result for numbers 1 to 100. So, I'm just gonna change this number. 1 to 100. Actually, it's 101 because that's how Python works. Yeah, that's how Python works. It's gonna know. And yes, it worked. Ooh, for number eighty eighty one. Oh, look at that! All these numbers being printed out. Isn't this beautiful? So I don't know what happened to numbers before that. It's kind of strange. Oh. Oh, I think it's just hidden because it's so long. Yeah. Yep, yep. I think, yeah, there's not enough RAM on Replit to run it. So, yeah. Um, this theory is officially confirmed with the help of Python and the power of the internet as well as computers because this is a online um coding platform called Replit. Um if you guys wanna to you can check it out. You can use it on basically any computer as long as you sign in. And uh yeah. Uh you're encouraged to do the try this on yourself if you know Python or in other languages. It's a very simple for loop uh followed by a while loop uh inside of a uh if statement. Um shouldn't take that long and yeah please like and subscribe to see more and um i might upload a like video a week or so or maybe not if something happens to me jk and yeah bye